Hello and welcome to the SQL Server Architecture video series. In the previous videos, we discussed about the physical storage of SQL Server. Apart from this physical storage, SQL Server storage engine support some additional components that I am discussing in this video. Other components of storage engine that is access method, buffer manager, transaction manager and log manager. Access method is a way data access from the storage engine. The buffer manager is a memory to store the data pages for speedy data access. And the transaction manager handling the transactions of the SQL server and maintain the transaction log. Any transaction in SQL server, it is in the locking state in storage. That is handled by the log manager. Next, the access method. Access method are the way to access the data to or from SQL server. There are two types of commands. We all know two commands, DDL and DML command. This is a part of the storage to access the data. Data definition language for create, alter, drop database objects. Also DML command, data manipulation language for select, insert, update and delete the data next one is buffer manager in simple way we can say buffer manager is a memory to store data pages this is a critical aspects of database system performance any user is requesting the data this request is not going directly to the storage instead First, this checking to the buffer and returning the data. If data is not available in the buffer, then only the data is reading from the storage location. So, when a user request is coming, first the request is checking data available in the buffer. If available, the data is returned to the user from the buffer. Otherwise, it will check the storage and reading data and returning to the user. There are three types of buffers that are plan cache, data pages and buffer pool. Plan cache contains the executed queries for the future reference. This also two types existing query plans and first time plans. Once query is executed that query plan is stored in the plan cache. In the existing query plans, once the request is coming, the buffer manager check the execution plan exists in the stored cache. Plan. If exists, this query plan cache is used for the same. If already the same execution plan is stored in the buffer, the request is using the previous execution plan and executed. Then next, first time cache plan. If the execution plan is does not exist in the plan cache, the first time query will create and execute and it is stored in the plan cache. That's the difference between existing query plan and the first time plan. Next one is data pages. Data pages are the pages that are available in the buffer for user request. There are two types of data pages, that is unmodified pages and dirty pages. Unmodified pages means these pages are committed data or not changed data once data is read from the physical location. These data pages are the pages available in the buffer that is not modified anything after the read or the committed data. The dirty pages means the dirty pages are the pages that go to modify in the buffer but it did not write back to the disk. That means the data is modified but that data is not committed. That data is known as dirty pages. Third one is buffer pool. This is also a cache used for data processing and query execution. This cache is used for the query execution processing. These are the three types of buffers, plan cache, data pages and buffer pool. The next component is transaction manager. 
the transaction manager works in between the data storage and transaction log file. The transaction manager creates transaction objects and manages their automaticity and durability. The transaction manager maintains log in storage disk. The log is sequential file that records transaction event. The transaction manager records transactions start and commit decision in the log. During normal processing, the transaction manager only writes to the log. However, if the transaction manager fails, it reads the log when it restarts to the restriction the most recent state using the log to make the state durable. So the transaction manager works in between data storage and transaction log file. Next log manager. We know data in the storage is in the log state while any user is accessing or modifying the data. This will handle handled by the log manager. If any transaction is going on, the associated data in the data storage in the log state. This process is handled by the log manager. This data log need to be upgraded to the next level or released as and when required by the system based on the user request. Log manager governs this process and help in maintaining the consistency and isolation. There are different logging types in SQL Server, that is shared log, update log, extend log, etc. This log manages upgraded from the one log to the next level of the log. This all managing by the log manager. The part of the database engine, storage engine completing here. Next, we need to discuss about the relational engine that we can discuss from the next video. Thank you for watching. Please support and subscribe the channel.